Gun violence is not just an Indianapolis issue or an Indiana issue. It is now officially a national emergency. U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy declared gun violence as a public health crisis today. WRTV's Taj Simmons tells us how this could put mental health in the spotlight. Your generation might picture a Surgeon General's advisory as a warning on cigarettes, but Surgeon General Vivek Murthy sees gun violence as a public health crisis. Moms and dads sons and daughters, all of whom were robbed of their physical and mental health by senseless acts of violence. Local anti-violence advocate D. Ross says it was a crisis long before this announcement. This is something that needed to be tackled yesterday. In order to tackle violence in our communities, we have to tackle mental health. Ross says he has personally lost friends to gun violence. He believes people who don't personally know the pain of shootings may not understand how that trauma lingers. Well, in revenge, retaliation, it's easy for you to lose yourself when you're dealing with that significant amount of pain. According to statistics Murthy shared from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than half of all American adults have experienced an incident with firearms or know someone in their family who has. Even more stark, the CDC now lists firearms as the leading cause of death for Americans between the ages of 1 and 19. I know a parent's worst nightmare is to lose a child, to feel like you can't protect your child from harm. In Indy, Ross says that's because violence leads to more violence if nobody steps in to turn the culture around. When you put a community in survival mode, when you put a community in survival mode, what do you expect to happen? Ross says the public health crisis announcement sends a message. This survival mode is a sickness that takes a village and vulnerability to heal. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to say, you know, you want to give up at times. Taj Simmons, WRTV. According to another CDC statistic shared by the Surgeon General, 60% of Americans worry about themselves or a loved one becoming a victim of gun violence.